All right, guys, so we're here at the UK Game Expo, and I'm here with Escape Plan Board Games. I'm going to be looking at two very interesting ones. So the first of these is a social deduction game called Stop the Train, a board game adventure, which immediately grabbed my attention. I like trains. I also like social deduction games. So take us through it and tell us all about it. There's also the, uh, there's also the prospect of explosions, which uh, improves the whole experience. So you <laughs> are on a train heading to Paris, and there is a saboteur on the train threatening to blow the thing up. The only thing is, you don't know who the saboteur is. You each have um, your own defined roles, which are kept secret. You all have your own objectives. Some of you might want to take a particular route. Some of you might want to achieve certain things on the way. But the main thing is that once you hit a bridge, you can vote who you're going to throw off, as you classically do on a train. Um, and yeah, it's uh, there's a lot. It's it's a nice, fast-playing social uh, deduction games. I always find one of the problems with social deduction games is they take an hour and a half, and everyone's really bitter when they lose by the end. <laughs> but it happens quickly enough that you can sort of move on, and then you're stabbing someone in the back, so that's absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Really as well. Oh yeah, so. Um, the train, uh, as it moves along, um, moves at a certain speed. All of you are holding certain effect cards, which uh, might accelerate the train. They might break the train. We might have um, set up this deck so that you could see a break, but uh, they're clearly all <laughs> stacked like that. But yeah, and then so you'll have your three, your three cards, you'll peek at them, discard one and pass two to the next person, and then when that person plays an accelerate, you can both point the finger at the other person as to why exactly the train is speeding up. I, uh, I do like I do like any kind of game that allows you to dob people in. I think that's always good. Absolutely. I think um, I think especially with a, a, a role where there's a there's a betrayer, it's 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 much more fun when the when you have a mechanic that actually makes shines a light on two people at the same time. And so is, is this available here at the show this weekend for everyone to pick up, yeah? It absolutely is, yeah. It's also, I mean, Brendan can tell you more about uh, where exactly it's available, but it's available here at the show. It's available online. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we also have another game and we're going to learn all about that as well. So this is Hit the Silk, which sounds very cool as well. So yeah, tell us all about it. So, um, Hit the Silk's um, an old RAF phrase for taking a parachute uh, and jumping out of a plane. And um, this game is um, a semi-cooperative game. It's got a bit of deduction, but it's a little bit more about um, negotiation, bluffing, and definitely about betrayal. So the, um, the plane has been shot by the pilot. So we're a band of criminals on the plane, uh, four or five of us. Uh, the, the pilot has um, got wind of our, our heist. He's put a bullet in the engine, and he's leaped out of the plane with his parachute and a spare, leaving the four of us with just three parachutes. And um, we have to scramble to collect the debt um, so the money which we owe to a casino as a debt, so the four of us need to raise a hundred grand and jump with a parachute each. But we're a parachute down. So we've got two objectives there, raise the cash and keep yourself safe. So there's a bit of backstabbing, a bit of negotiation and a few twists and turns along the way. Um, if you do get left high and dry, um, there's an opportunity to land the plane at the end and um, there's maybe a 30% chance that an untrained man can pilot this plane to safety. <laughs> So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a card-based game, so we're a lot of, um, a lot of fast kind of uh, card play. Plays in about 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the group size. Sounds very, very cool indeed. And uh, as I say, both of these available this weekend for people to pick yes, up, yeah? So this has just come into the UK yesterday. So uh, this is the, f um, the first place other than Kickstarter that you can buy this uh, game. So we're, we're happy to have it kind of fresh off production from in Germany. Would have been here two weeks ago. A few customs issues with Brexit, but we got there. We got there, it's here. So if people actually want to try and pick this up uh, this weekend at the event, yes. where are they going? I'm going to put you on the spot. No, we, do you remember your no, booth number? We do. <laughs> we're at 2947. And uh, uh, Hit the Silk's available at 25. We've got a, a special expo deal on Stop the Train that's down at 28 from 35. So you can get 20% off that one. And uh, also find out a little bit about our upcoming game, which is called Run For Your Life. Um, that's I, I see dinosaurs, all right? <laughs> You're going to have to run away from these dinosaurs or else you will lose a limb. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you're in the mood for a little bit of social deduction, a little bit of a fast board game to play on the tabletop, make sure to go and check out the guys at Escape Plan Board Games. Sounds very, very cool indeed. I'm very eager to try both of these. And this one also sounds amazing because it's got dinosaurs involved with it. <laughs> right. So yeah, make sure to go and check these guys out. You know, you know where their booth number is now. So go and see them. And uh, we'll be back with another video very, very soon.